Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I'm gonna be filming a sort of tag that me and Kate made, and I think we're calling it the favorites of K-pop tag, kind of like you have your favorite books of the year and that type of thing, but for K-pop. So I'm just gonna get right on into it. I'm only talking about two groups. As you know, I really only have two stan groups, which I mentioned in my last couple K-pop videos, and that is Seventeen and Astro. So I'm gonna be talking about them. We came up with some, not even questions, just like things to answer, like your favorite this video person, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna get right on into it. And I'm gonna try and include clips. They're not gonna be as nice as like Kate's clips cause she can like edit clips over and I can't do that with my editing software on my phone because I upload everything from my phone, but I will try to add in some clips so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So first, we're gonna talk about Astro. Question number one being, who is your bias? And as I've mentioned several times at this point, my bias is Rocky. He's been my bias like pretty soon after I got into them. Like there was a minute there where I thought it might have been Jin Jin or MJ or Moonbin or really any of them <laughs> because the whole bunch of them is a bunch of bias wreckers, but then I heard Rocky sing, and it was really just all over from that point on. <laughs> and question number two is your bias wrecker. And again, it could be Jinjin, Jin, but I know that Jinjin Jin is not my type, even though I love him to death, and he's also Kate's bias, so I would never do that in the first place. <laughs> but I think my ultimate bias wrecker is for sure Moonbin. I think Moonbin is adorable. He's just a puppy cat is how he's often described and he's just so cute he's so talented he's so funny he eats like 10 million pounds of food every day and just likes to vlog himself eating he's just the cutest thing and i love him so much <laughs> question number three is top five favorite songs and i did mention like a top three in my favorites video so we'll rehash those three First being Always You, which is from their Rise Up album. Second being Again, or Should Have Held On, or whatever the English title is from their Winter Dream album. Third would be Call Out, which is also from their Rise Up album and has the best raps. Rocky's rap is the best thing ever in that song. Everyone agrees. And then number four is actually a more obscure one. It's not a title track, which Call Out isn't either, but it's also newer. But I'm a big fan of, I think the English title is you Smile, it's from their Dream Part 1 album. I think it is the cutest song in the world and it's just a fun hype song that you can just like jam out to and I do quite often to be honest. <laughs> and then number five is actually Confession, which is the most random of all of the favorite songs of mine because it's really like a song that I wouldn't normally like but something about that song, I just absolutely love it. <laughs> like, I think it was because it was the music video that really made me fall in love with Astro. Like me and Kate were sitting there going, oh yeah, we probably know what our biases are gonna be at this point. Like I was on MJ at the time and like, I was really interested in Rocky. And then the part in the confession music video where they're like, do a little bit of acting towards the end. Me and Kate at the same time noticed Jin Jin and we were like, <laughs> and then we b had a quick crisis of, oh no, are we both about to try and bias Jin Jin? Are we going to have to fight to the death because we have the same bias? But thankfully that didn't happen and we both came to our senses. <laughs> Question number four is favorite choreo. Honestly, I go back and forth between Always You and Again. I think the Always You choreo is more iconic. Like I can watch the music video and then see the choreo in my head because I've seen so many performances of it. And then again, I just think it's just such, first of all, it's a great song. Second of all, they're so in sync in their dance practice for again. And I just, I am baffled every time. Question number five is favorite era. And this was actually really hard for me because I don't really know what my favorite era is. Like I was trying to think concept wise or like looks wise or even music. Like honestly, I feel like looks wise, my favorite era is Rise Up. I think everybody looks fantastic in that. The only one that I'm like kind of iffy about because it's not my favorite hair of his is Jin Jin with his bright green hair. They all also look really good in Dream Part 1. That era is really, really cute. 
in the baby music video, like everybody looks fantastic. But I think overall, minus Jinjin's hair, I prefer the Rise Up era. Question number six is your favorite video slash moment. And there really wasn't another answer to this one because me and Kate watch this video all the time. <laughs> and that is, we call it high guy. I think the meme video is called high guy. And it's like, it's a crack video of their doka from, I don't even remember what it was from. It's one of their dokas. It's them like trying to speak English and like just completely goofing off backstage at some sort of event. I will insert a short little clip I here. It. Yeah! I brought you. Woo! I'm the dancer Woo! and rapper yeah. of Astro. Oh, okay. This is Rocky is such a dork. I would insert the high note battle, but I don't want to like break everyone's ears if you have headphones in because but please watch that whole video. <laughs> it's so funny. It's my favorite thing in the world. If I'm in a bad mood, I will go watch that and just cry laughing because it's hilarious. And then another random one that I thought of that I honestly have watched more times than I probably should have is a part switch of confession that they did at some sort of fan event. <laughs> and it's a part switch where it's actually a Rocky fan cam. I'll put a clip in here in a second. And it's a part towards the end of confession where they're supposed to like fall backwards and there's supposed to be another person there to catch them. But because it's a part switch, the person that was supposed to catch Rocky wasn't there because he didn't know his part. <laughs> and Rocky just straight up falls flat on his back. And it's so funny because he's just so alarmed because he was so trusting that somebody was gonna catch him. So please watch that. <laughs> Anytime Rocky messes up at all when it comes to dancing is hilarious to me because Rocky is like the dancer of the group. Like he's the best dancer, him and Jinjin. Jin. So anytime Rocky messes up, they literally like cheer. <laughs> and it's so funny because he gets so bad. But it's fine, Rocky's just a perfectionist, I understand. Okay, question number seven is your favorite non-title track slash performance, like a random performance. And for that, I'm going to go with really love the Astroed Innocent Love performance. I will insert a clip here. They all look and sound absolutely amazing. This was the moment that I like fully decided Rocky was gonna be my bias because he hits a high note in that song that I just, I died when Kate showed it to me. Literally, she showed it to me and I was like, well, bye, we're not watching anything else for the rest of the night because I'm gonna watch this about 50 more times. And then the other one is the call out like special video slash unofficial music video, which I'll show a clip of. I think it's so cute. They're all adorable. Moomin's hair is just on point and I love it so much. So, so much. <laughs> I've watched that video way too many times, way more times than I can count. And then last question is your favorite fan cam. And I watch a lot of Rocky fan cams to be completely honest, but I do have a favorite and that is an Always You performance. And it's of him in his pink shirt. And I'll just show it to you now. <laughs> One, I love when Rocky sings. He does sing in Always You. Two, he looks fantastic. <laughs> like, the stylists knew exactly what they were doing when they put him in that shirt. And that's all I have to say about it. 
And now we're gonna move on to 17, which, little background, I've been into 17 since like June of this year, so like around six months. And I did follow them for, like I do still follow them sometimes, but I don't follow them nearly as closely as Astro because I didn't quite go down like fully into the 17 obsession because they were the very first K-pop group I had ever like really seen or tried to get into. I was really bad at recognizing people. It took me months to be able to recognize all 13 members of this group because there's so many of them. And they've also gotten like more popular apparently recently, which Kate was telling me about. So like there's just a ton of videos, a ton of music. And quite honestly, just so much to catch up on. So I'm a little behind. I still haven't seen everything of Seventeen's, but I'm definitely starting to get more into like finding some of their non-title stuff and random things lately because after falling in love with Astro, it reminded me how much I really like K-pop and how much I really love Seventeen. So we're gonna answer some questions about them, but I'll warn you now, I do not know as much about Seventeen as I do about Astro. Question number one is who is your bias? And my bias is DK. I think DK has the prettiest voice I've ever heard in my life. He was not one of the first people I picked out when Kate started showing me videos, but like a couple videos in, I started to notice him because I was like, who, whose voice is that? Who's singing right now? And sure enough, it was him. I think his voice is just beautiful. He sounds like an absolute angel. I think he's a cutie. He's like the happy virus of the group, which I almost picked another happy virus for Astro, but I ended up not picking him for my bias. But I think DK is the sweetest human being, and I think he's so funny. And question number two is your bias record for this group. Now, when it comes to like Astro, I don't think my bias record is enough to ever actually become my bias. In this case, I'm actually kind of afraid that they might have to battle it out because I love Ming Hao so much like he's the cutest little thing he's so talented he's such a phenomenal dancer like every time i see him dance i'm like blown away he's got a good voice he's a sweetheart he's like a style icon even though his outfits are just so interesting <laughs> i just found out ming hao's gonna be like on idol producer season two which i didn't even watch the first season of Idol Producer, but I did watch a lot of the performances because I did get into the groups that came out of Idol Producer, which if you don't know is C-pop, not K-pop. But Kate did show me a lot of their performances and stuff, so I have seen like one or nine percent. But the fact that Ming Hao is gonna be on that show, I'm definitely gonna watch season two because I love Ming Hao so much. <laughs> Question number three is your top five favorite songs, and my favorite song is Pinwheel which is a vocal team song and I love it so much. It's the prettiest thing. The music video is the prettiest thing. I honestly listen to that song if I'm like really, really stressed out or I have really bad anxiety because it legitimately calms me down. Like I'll listen to the 3D, I'll put headphones in and listen to the 3D audio and it's just immediately calms me down. My second favorite song is Thanks. I just, I adore that choreo. I adore the song. I think it's so pretty. I've seen that choreo video for thanks so many times and I just I sing that song all the time I don't speak Korean but like thanks was the first song that I really started trying to sing along to because I love it so much and the notes are so pretty and I just love everything about it number three is don't want to cry I'm a huge fan of this I love the music video the music video is super cute and super aesthetic definitely one I listen to a ton next up is more random because those first three are like kind of prettier songs <laughs> And number four is Highlight, which I feel like isn't a super popular song. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I love the Highlight dance practice so much. I think it's such a fun song. And it, again, like with Confession and Astro, it is not my type of song at all, but I just, there's something about it that I really, really love. And like Highlight is one of those songs where it hi <laughs> highlights members that I don't normally pay attention to because one, there's just so many people in Seventeen and two, I like barely knew who they were when I first started getting into them, but I definitely do now. And I really, really love that song so much. And then number five is Pretty You. I think that is the cutest music video. The kick dance is the funnest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Number four is your favorite choreo. And I think I'm gonna have to go with Thanks. I love the Thanks choreography. It's 
so pleasing to just look at. Like, Thanks is the song that I will show people, even if they don't like K-pop, most people can appreciate like dance. So if I show them that choreo video, they're like, wow, this is really cool. I'm not interested in the K-pop, but that was really cool. <laughs> I've done that with several people. I'm also a big fan of the Don't Wanna Cry choreo too. Question number five is your favorite era. So my favorite video in which everybody looks absolutely incredible is Pinwheel, which is from their teenage era. But like DK's hair, the soft fluffy sweaters in the Pinwheel music video, Jung Han's hair, Jihoon's hair is my favorite that it's ever been in that Pinwheel music video. I love how all of them look in there. Sorry if you can hear the train beeping outside. <laughs> they all look so, so good in that video, but also as an era all together, I really like Don't Wanna Cry. I really like how everybody looks in that time period. Question number six is your favorite video slash moment. I really like their two times speed things on Weekly Idol. Like they, I think they did Don't Wanna Cry on one of them and it's the funniest thing to watch because they're really good at two times speed, which I'll show you a quick clip of that now. <laughs> I really like the Oh My part switch version, which I'll show you a quick, quick clip of right now. Part switches are some of my favorite things ever. I just think this one is so funny. Question number seven is your favorite non-title track performance. Definitely gonna have to go with My Eye, which is Ming Hao and June. And it's just, it's like a choreo video. They're both incredible dancers. They're the Chinese line of 17. And I can never get over Ming Hao's dancing in this. Like, please just enjoy. So, no, 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 no. It's so good. And then last is your favorite fan cam. I haven't gone completely down the fan cam hole for 17 because again, there's so many because they've been around for so long and they've gotten so much more popular recently. But I went with this thanks fan cam of DK. <laughs> Those are my favorites of K-pop for 2018. I hope you enjoy this. If you like K-pop and make videos, please make this video. I will leave all the questions down in the comments below. And again, as with a lot of my K-pop videos, please let me know who your bias is in any of these groups or what your alt bias group is. I would love to know. I would love to talk to you in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys next time.